So, Lou Anarumo just gave Daxel one of the best compliments you can give somebody. Let's talk about it. So, Lou Anarumo told Dan that Dax Hill has the traits to be the best outside corner to ever play the position. Listen, I love Dax Hill. That is immense praise. Because there, there has been a lot of great, amazing outside corners throughout history. Okay? And obviously, he's not saying he's 100% going to become the best. You know, he's just saying he has the traits to become the best. And obviously, you know, it comes down to how well Dax can develop. And honestly, it makes a lot more sense why they moved him from free safety to the cornerback position this offseason. Because if they believe, truly believe, that he can become the best of the best, then this is a no-brainer. And if he does become the best of the best, then automatically we have the best secondary in the NFL. Because the other side of him would be Cam Taylor Brett, who is arguably the best. Then you got Mike Hilton, who's playing at a very high level. So, overall-wise, again, insane praise. And... I, I am excited to see how he develops. I think Dax Hill is going to be absolutely amazing. And I've been very high on him this whole entire offseason. I've been very excited for him in the corner. I don't know if, if I would have said the best to ever play. I would say I think he could be top 50 um, to ever play the position. I, I agree with that. I, I don't know if I'd say the best. I, I, I don't know if I could put, even with my biasy put it to that point now obviously he's not saying he will come the best he's saying he has the traits but even then, i couldn't go that far i feel like it's a good thing he didn't tell me he laughed which yeah i guess that would kind of go to your head and maybe you're kind of you know look you get a little ego there and you know you don't work as hard because the whole the way you really get to become the best i feel like is you're doubted right you're the underdog Everyone is doubting you. Everyone's saying you're not good enough. You can't do A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's how you become the best. Because that makes you want to work harder. That makes you want to grind harder. It makes you want to put in more time, more effort. And I'm not saying without that, players wouldn't you know, grind or put in effort. But it just gives you that extra motivation, right? He says, you want that in terms of coaches trusting you and putting you in a position like this right now. I feel like I have the tools like he said. Um, I'm just sharpening those every day. And yeah, that's really what this needs to come down to is just him perfecting you know, what he's good at. Which, overall wise, he's a great coverage corner. Obviously now cornerback officially. He's a great coverage corner. He's great at tackling. He has great hands. He has everything he does need to become the best. Can he do it? Is he physically capable of doing it? Will he succeed? I would say yes to all those things, Tobin said. I've seen him do it. I've seen him do it in college. I've seen him cover a man in the NFL. I know he can do it. It's not a question of whether he has the feet, his hip speed, explosiveness, and willingness to tackle, and so forth. I've seen him uh, do all the things he will need to do out there. He just hasn't been called a corner yet. And yeah, again, you know, this is not, based on what I understand, this is not the hardest transition possible to go from safety to corner. It's definitely something new, and he's going to have to learn and develop over time. I apologize to keep turning my camera off. For some reason, I always, for some reason, I always sneeze whenever I make videos. Uh, just uh, start, wait, my bad. Hill was happy with his coverage, but he was critical of his release. Just the start of the rep. I feel like my feet weren't the best, he said. And it's just those small details I can clean up so I can make those type of plays. And yeah, you gotta be critical of yourself. You gotta be critical of yourself. You gotta always try to better yourself. Always look at things that you can get better at. And it's good that, you know, he's kind of a little bit to a way being nitpicking. You know, just kind of look at it and say, okay, 
that right there I need to improve. This right here I need to improve. He said, I feel like the biggest thing right now is just getting my feet right. Covering top tier receivers week in and week out. I feel like that's something that needs to be pristine and precise every day. And if we, if you've seen him so far in training camp, he has gotten beat on some passes. But for the most part, he has done a really amazing job. And he, again, just is learning the position this offseason. Whenever I go up to the line, I'm seeing what's in front of me and reading that, Hill said. The... That's the biggest thing at corner. Just seeing what's in front of you and getting a clear picture before the ball is snapped. That's something I've been preparing myself for. I'm not timid at all, even though it's the second day. I feel like I'm growing. It's slowly, it's slowing down day by day. I'll eventually get to where, okay, I can play around with what, uh, with what I'm doing and play the cat and mouse game. And that's something that if you listen to like players like Ed Reed, Troy Palomalu, they have said that kind of age-old mindset of the cat and mouse game. Pretty much you, you know, make the you bait the quarterback into throwing one way, you go left, you go right, bam, you pick it off. So again, over time he'll get better at that and develop those skills. Once you're comfortable, the confidence will become will come and then it's a sky is the limit he continued to take baby steps and then once you're at your peak i'm gonna keep going and again i'm excited to see how he does develop how he does get better and you know at what point you know he finishes this season at i think overall wise he could right now okay going into the season right now he's at his lowest he'll ever be at right i think right now he is a Low-end cornerback two, a high-end cornerback three. That's what I think he is right now. I think, realistically speaking, um, I'd be comfortable to see him finish this year at a mid-range cornerback two. Low-end, or high-end mid-range quarterback two. Low-end cornerback two. Like... Mid-range, quarterback two, low-end, low cornerback two. That's why I think I would feel comfortable with him finishing at. If he does finish at where he is now, it's not the worst thing in the world. I already think he's really high up, and I think he's already at a really good spot. But I would definitely want to see a lot of progress, especially with the fact that you know we have a lot of cornerbacks that are young, getting more snaps, they're going to start taking off. And, you know, he's in the golden opportunity right now to kind of control this position, control his job. So I would like to see, you know, some not crazy progress, but to a point where we can say after this season, okay, this is the guy moving forward. We feel confident in him and stuff like that. I think he's going to be great, but I'm just saying kind of my overall perspective on the concept. But tell me down below your thoughts, opinions. See you guys next one.